Hi friends and welcome back to my channel Kibi's Collectibles. Today I would like to do a what's sold video for you. It is Monday, Labor Day. I am not wearing any makeup. I'm taking the day off and I haven't even had a nap today. So let's get started with the video before I fall asleep. Okay, so the first thing that I sold this past week was the, the G.I. Joe 1982 Vamp Attack Vehicle with heavy artillery laser. It was a lot. And we bought that a couple weeks ago in the lot of G.I. Joe's, like the tub G.I. Joe toys that Brian found. And we paid $25, give or take a few, um, for that. And we'd already made our money, so this is just pure profit. We sold the Vamp Attack Vehicle for $26.99. So that was a really good profit. Next, we sold the Airfix model LCVP landing craft. And we purchased that model at Goodwill for $2.95 and we sold it for $11.99. Next, we bought the HP 97 and HP 96 ink cartridge pack. It was sealed, it's the tricolor and the black ink. We bought it at an estate sale and we think we paid about $2.50 or $3. We're going to say $3. Uh, we bought it on half price day. So it came in like a pack, but the pack was opened and it only had these two left in it. So we sold that for $14.99. Okay, the next item is the backgammon game from the Premier Collection. We sold that game for $10.99. It was sealed. Um, we paid $4.95, which I thought was quite a lot, but since it was sealed at the time, you know, I thought we could get more for it. Uh, we bought it at the Goodwill, $4.95, and sold it for $10.99. So, yeah, a little bit of profit, not as much as we wanted, but we'd had it for a little while and was ready to get rid of it. Okay, next up we have the G.I. Joe Spirit action figure with accessories, but he, he did not have the Eagle. Um, he's from 1984. We bought Spirit and that same lot of G.I. Joe toys, and we sold Spirit for $14.15. Okay, next up. Oh, this was an adorable little trinket box. It's the Limoges Pint, I, I don't know how to say this, P-E-I-N-T, Pint Main Trinket Box. It's from France, and it was a glass trinket box. So cute. I found this at an, at an estate sale. I was digging in this pile of jewelry and it was in a package, like, you know, a sealed little Ziploc baggie, whatever, for $3. And I got it for $1.50 on the half price day. And when I went to take it up there to, to purchase it, um, the lady who's in charge was like, oh. Like, she looked at it and was like, uh-oh, we kind of missed the boat on this one. Um, so... We sold the trinket box for $35, and actually that was a reduction in price. I think we had him on there for 50, and um, we lowered the price, and I think made an offer or something like that. We, we send offers out to friends. Anyway, next up, we sold the Texas Instruments Business Analyst Financial Calculator. Now, it's called a BA2, it's a plus, and we bought that, I think last weekend or something, at the yard sale. And like the box had been opened, like cut, but everything was in the box. The calculator worked, everything. And we sold it for 16. So that's a pretty good profit there. Okay, next up is the Walt Disney World Epcot Spaceship Earth Cup. I think I paid up for this. I paid $5.95 at Goodwill. But of course, everything is expensive at Goodwill nowadays. And we had it listed originally for $29.99. Um, 
and we had some interest in it, but no one, you know, wanted to take the bite. So we came down quite a bit and sold it for $15.99. All right, next up is the vintage G.I. Joe Hasbro 1982 Jump Set Pack platform and Ram motorcycle. That's the little platform that the little guy can, you know, can go off from. Anyway, he was part of that lot and um, we sold that for $15.99. And the last item that I wanna talk with you about is an item that, I, this will probably never happen again, but uh, Brian and I were at Goodwill, and this was, you know, we've had this for a little while. Now, mind you, we've only started doing this since April, so, you know, we've had it for a couple months. We've had this item. Um, so we were at Goodwill, and just, you know, you, ha you know how you go through Goodwill, but then you have to go back around again because there's always something you didn't see. So I was on my second little go around, and there is this cute little ceramic birdhouse on the shelf and I didn't see it the first time maybe they were putting things out but it, it it just it was adorable and it had a little ray done look but you know there's lots of knockoffs so I put one said oh that's great no problems you know no chips no cracks no anything like that so I put it in the cart and later on my husband's like oh is that ray done I'm like no because on the bottom it had FTD and it had I don't know what it had by magenta anyway so I didn't even look it up in the store got home and looked it up and it was a Ray Dunn piece but it was a, a rare Ray Dunn item made by magenta for the FTD and I believe they only made 300 of them I could be wrong but I think that's I think that's what it was they only made 300 anyway they were selling for 2,500 one sold for 4,000 and it was crazy. So I listed this birdhouse. Finally, a lady messaged me and said, hey, I'd like to buy it for $1,200. So anyway, she messaged me and we went back and forth for a little while and we set a price for $1,000. So she paid $1,000 for this Ray Dunn birdhouse and she gave me positive feedback. She's very happy with it and I'm like, I can't even believe it. So for something that I picked up for $2.95 at Goodwill, I made a pretty decent profit. I would say more than decent, I'm pretty happy. And what I did was, um, we, it was free shipping, you know, obviously, and I paid extra for insurance up to $1,000 to make sure that um, once it left my hands that it was going to be fully insured for her to get reimbursed if anything happened under the post office while they had it. Because I knew when I, I took pictures of every step. So I knew it was great when it left my house. So how exciting is that? Okay, so with everything that we sold this week, so our gross for this week was $1,162.09. Now let's take that 13% off for eBay and PayPal fees and that was $151.07, which left us $1,011.02. Now, I'm gonna take off uh, free shipping and insurance, which was about $56, give or take a few pennies, which meant we had a $955 net. Now, let's go back and take off the inventory, what we spent for all these items which was $22.35. So our bottom line net profit for last week was $932, give or take some cents, you know, some change. And I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm pretty happy with just getting $1,000 for that birdhouse because I'm not doing this to be greedy and get as much as I can. This is part-time and this is just extra cash for Brian and I to, you know, enjoy our empty nest. So we're very happy. And that's what sold this past week on Kiwi's Collectibles. So stay tuned for our next episode where we, um, we've got a 
a haul coming up and I'll film that. I may film that without makeup too. Who, who knows and who cares? So we've got a haul coming up of some things that we've purchased and hope everyone's had a great Labor Day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.